Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Heather V. Um, today's video, I'm going to show you guys a quick version of how I clean because I already started cleaning it and I was like, hey, let's do a video. Um, and a lot of people ask me how I do or how you're supposed to, because I normally don't do it anymore, how you do paste adhesive with powder. Um, a lot of people mess this up if they don't know what they're doing, so I'm going to show you guys how to do this. But before I get started, guys, don't forget to hit subscribe. Um, if you like the video, like the content, don't forget to like, share, help anybody else that would probably need it. Um, and yeah, don't forget to hit that bell button, click all, so you don't miss out on my videos and my giveaways. So many people get upset when they miss the denture fit ones. You gotta watch the videos. I hide my giveaways inside my videos. Um, for the people that actually watch my videos, they get in on the giveaways. Like, I have one, um, now going on. Actually, I think it just ended for Curoxin. Um, that was hidden in my videos. And I did a Thanksgiving Live one. So make sure you guys get up in there because I do giveaways literally all the time. So don't miss out. But a lot of people who are starting out with dentures aren't really sure how to clean their dentures or how to go about it. Um, I always tell people, cheap version, if, if you're like seriously on a budget, Fresh and Bright. Fresh and Bright is ADA approved and so is Dr. B Adhesive. I mean, uh, Clean and Dent Paste. The only two ones that are ADA approved. I stick to ADA approved knowing that I dug a little deeper on how people get approved and all that and yeah I learned my lesson of not doing that that'll come later on um because there's a lot involved in that but it takes a lot to get ADA approved and to prove that your product does what it does and these two I'm using this right now I don't squirt it out these two are ADA approved actually Dr. B's entire line is ADA approved not any other company can say that only Dr. B's is um so this is 297 or around there at Walmart unless the price went up and um, I'm not really sure how much this is um, I don't really sure but you can use it in your denture and your mouth um, so it's like two products in one you don't need to use toothpaste separately from you know you can't use toothpaste on your denture so it would be on your gums and have a separate product for your denture you can use one thing that helps dry mouth and essential oils in it for your denture and your mouth so that's what I basically use all the time is the Dr. B's one. But I am going to show you guys how I do everything. So I'm going to start back up in a minute. Okay, guys. So I already did my top one. I'm going to do my bottom one real quick. And then I'm going to show you guys how I do the paste and the powder at the same. Now, as denture wearers, we obviously can't floss them. So we get food stuck in here all the time. You know, you do not have to do the circle motions like they tell you to do with your teeth. You just, you can either go side to side, or if you want to get the food out, guys, up and down is the best way to do it. Because the bristles get inside the teeth part, and it takes out the food. So, that's how I do it. It happens more with my top denture than anything, and it's very frustrating. Um, that's why sometimes I wish we could really floss our denture, but we can't, because it doesn't go in all the way. It's just plastic. Literally, what acrylic is, is a type of plastic. So... You just go in and take it out with the bristles, and it comes right out. But man, is it annoying. I'm sick and tired of after I eat something, I got a bunch of crap in my teeth. I wish it was better than that. So you want to make sure you thoroughly clean it. Now, I have DentraFit in my guys. And people always ask how they clean um, a soft reline. You just, you're just very careful so you don't rip it up. You're just gentle, and you do normal brushing. Just how you guys just saw me do it. So... And before you guys put adhesive in, make sure everything is thoroughly dry. And if you're going to do this with me, make sure that you guys have Q-tips. Because I smooth out my denture adhesive with Q-tips. So I'm going to make sure everything is completely dry. Like seriously, take a paper towel. Get up in there. Unless you want to wait for it to air dry, that's your choice. But I make sure I thoroughly dry it completely. Get in every crack and crevice. A lot of people don't, and that's one thing, I'll move you guys up, that's one thing people mess up with adhesive. Um, if you don't dry out your denture thoroughly and you're putting paste on top of it, you're melting the adhesive, which is why you're having so many problems while you're eating. Um, so make sure you thoroughly dry it. Like in here, 
is very deep and I can barely get my fingernail in there. My trough is very deep. My palette is super deep. So you want to make sure you clean and dry everything. Because you will melt your adhesive and then it's never going to dry. And then it's going to pop out while you're eating. And that's a big problem. Huge problem. So I'm bring you guys down. Show you guys how I do it. First, I'm going to shut this. We're going to do top first. Fix it on Ultramax. Awesome adhesive. What I do is, I don't, there's no rhyme or reason for me getting paste in here. I just, come on, adhesive. I hate when there's air bubbles in adhesive. So I just put adhesive on. I'm going to keep it open because I'm going to use it in a second. I like the Q-tip. And I spread it out evenly. All across the denture, guys. And the Q-tip helps taking extra off that you don't need. Get every space. And what's cool about Q-tips, if it's hanging over the edge like this part, I could just pop it off and use the other end. But you want to get every spot, guys. This is what's awesome about what the trick I, I came up with when I was doing it. Because I was reading the thing when I first started. And them telling you to use blobs. Great, when you put it in, it doesn't spread all over. It just moves out a little bit more than where the spot was. And it's an uneven security hold. This makes sure that you have adhesive in every spot of your denture. So it, it forms a better hold of your denture. So that is how you do it. The blobs ain't going to do crap. So this is an even one. What I do, take the powder. And it doesn't matter how much you put in there. Just spray it in there. The fix it on one comes right out. And it's actually a better hold. What I do is shake it, make sure it's all up in there, and I get it on a paper towel. Or you can use a Tupperware, guys, if you want to save the powder. Do not add water if you're putting it on top of paste. Many people, it says in the thing to add water only if you're using powder itself, not paste. If you're using powder only, take a spray bottle and just do a light spritz to your denture. Make sure it's not dripping wet. And you put the powder on it, and it looks like this. But it looks like this when you put paste on it. So when you're using paste, do not add water. Only when you're using the powder by itself, you add water. And very, it's just a spray bottle spritz is all you need. Pop them in. I put my finger on my palette, you know, the, where your thumb, like, thumbprint goes. Push it forward and put it in the suck zone. That's the top. See, I'm not a big fan of powder because it doesn't really hold that well. But ta da. So the bottom, same concept. All you do is put some adhesive in here. I wish fix -in would do better with their tubes. Less air. So I take, make sure your, your nozzle is completely cleaned off before you cap it. And then you take the Q-tip, spread it around just like I did with the other one. Hold on, I gotta put you guys down. Same way you would do with any other way, guys. I put it all through the walls, and the Q-tip helps take the excess off. Because I literally just blob the crap in. And I clean up the edges, because I don't want it going over. But it's that easy. A thin coat. And a lot of people... You know, if any adhesive is not working for you, and after like a couple of, you know, hours it's popping, you need a soft reline. So many people avoid soft relines, but you need it. You need it when you have too much um, shrinkage. Powder's in there. I just shake it in, and then use that. Tap it off. Remember, do not add water when you're using paste.
Ta-da! <laughs> so, a lot of people ask me how to do paste, uh, powder with paste. A lot of people have made mistakes of doing the water with it. It's only follow those directions if you're only using the powder. Like, only. Um, found a sore spot. But make sure you bite down evenly. Do not eat or drink, guys, for 45 minutes. Once you put these in, no eating or drinking. Because it's a glue. It needs to dry. It's the only way to do it. Because, um, you know, a lot of dentists wrote to me and they were like, we never thought of that. It's a glue. It needs to dry. It needs to take its time. And for everybody that keeps drinking and eating after 10 minutes of putting it in or right as you put it in, you're now melting your adhesive. And it's not going to dry now. And now you're going to have a bitch of a time all day trying to eat, snack, drink, do whatever. And that's not cool, especially if you're working, you're with people and do all that. So if you want to do paste and, and powder, that's, if you need both of them, that's an indication you need a soft reline. If you, if you are literally doing them both. Um, that's what I learned as doing this. Because powder is meant for like a light adhesive. Um, like say you did denture fit. And you haven't been off paste. You know, you're not used to the feeling. You can use powder and do it that way. Um, but if you're literally using so much adhesive that you're reapplying. Or, you know, you're using paste and powder. That means you need a soft reline badly. So you need to get a hold of your dentist if you have a warranty. Tell them that you needed um, a soft reline done like immediately, like yesterday. Um, but a lot of problems I've noticed talking to a lot of people is the fact that you need a soft reline. People are like, oh, this adhesive doesn't work. Fix it on Ultramax is the strongest adhesive out there. It's not my opinion. It's actually what it says. And done by, um, you know, studies and stuff. And I've tried every adhesive. And fix it in Ultramax and then Dr. B's right under it are the only two I like. Unless you guys have one to have a ton of review on. Polygrip doesn't work. It's too slimy. It takes too long to dry. Way too long to dry. Like I've never in my life seen adhesive take that long to dry. I remember when I didn't have adhesive, I forgot it at home and I was at my dentist doing my little gum check stuff. He gave me Polygrip. It literally took three hours to dry. And it dried crooked. And I'm like... So don't use polygrip. It's such a waste. It really is. And a lot of people are like, oh, I reapply with polygrip, but I love it. You're, you're loving the fact that you're reapplying. You're only supposed to apply your adhesive once a day and let it dry for 45 minutes. So I'm definitely going to do a video based on for people who are first starting out your first month. Um, like after a month when you're able to use adhesive. Listen, your first month, you're not supposed to use adhesive after extractions. After extractions, no adhesive, unless you're using on your top palette, because that's not on your gums. Every, like your bottom denture, you can't, which totally sucks for a lot of people. I really feel for them, because it's almost impossible to, like, move around and all that stuff. If the dentists do not do really good impressions, where it's so tight on your mouth like mine was, um, you're going to have a bitch of a time. Like my top one, I didn't even need a soft free liner use adhesive for about two months after getting extractions. So, but if you guys have any questions, you can always comment down below. I have my email. I'm on Discord now. Um, it's Heather B. Denture Diva, hashtag 2612. Um, the numbers are next to the Diva word. Don't space them out because then they'll be like, I can't find you. I want to do game night and stuff and do video chats of just denture talk and talk to each other and ask questions. And, you know, I want to build the community up because a lot of people are shy and they don't talk and... You know, a lot of people just sit there and, and just wait. And I want anybody to reach out. you got a problem, just reach out. Um, but a lot of the times, guys, most problems can be easily fixed. So if you have a question, you have any of that, you might dentist support group because they're there and they're awesome. Um, and it's people that are going through it, about to go through it, people that have been through it. You know, and I'm on Instagram. I'm on Heather B. Denture Diva. I did a public figure page on Facebook now. Um... You can get a hold of me on private messenger on Facebook. And so many different Heather B. Denture DV private message me there. Or for my denture support group. But reach out. Don't just give up on your dentures. Throw them to the side. And just be like, screw it, I'm not doing it anymore because they're too big. You can do a soft reline. If they're stupid big after six months of, of immediates, you can just do a hard reline. There's so many things that you can do that there's no reason to give up. I mean, I used to think that hearing everybody complain about bottom denture that it was going to be bad. And it wasn't. 
at all. It actually was easier than my tops to deal with. Um, the only thing I have to say is, is make sure that your wall is short enough where it's not hitting your tongue muscles. Because the tongue muscles are what makes your denture pop. Um, on the bottom especially. But, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. God bless, stay safe, and have a healthy, happy denture day. Later.